Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at binomial expansions. I want to look at the problem, what is the coefficient of the fourth term in the expansion of x minus 2y to the ninth power? Now, the crazy way to do this would be to multiply x minus 2y times x minus 2y to multiply the binomial by itself nine times. But the problem with this method is that we have two terms in the first binomial being multiplied by two terms in the second. The result of this is being multiplied by two terms in the third, and this continues all the way to the last binomial where we have another two terms. So we would have two times two times two. We would be multiplying two times itself nine times. So we would have two to the ninth, or 512 pieces, once we expanded this x minus two y to the ninth. And then out of those 512 pieces, we would need to sort through them, and we would have exactly one x to the ninth term. Then we would have some number of x to the eighth, y to the one terms. We'd have some number of x to the seventh, y to the second. And we would have an x to the sixth, y to the third. We'd have some number of these. And then finally, the last piece, if we organize this, would be negative two to the ninth, y to the ninth. That would be the result of negative 2y times negative 2y doing that nine times. But we don't need to do it this way. That, like I said, it would be ridiculous. So we're going to use Newton's binomial theorem. This simplifies the work by a tremendous amount. But what we need to do is we need to apply it to the binomial that we've started with. We're looking at x minus 2y to the ninth power. So we're looking at x minus 2y to the ninth power. But look at how Newton's binomial theorem is defined. For x plus y to the nth, this is the summation from r equals 0 to n of n choose r times x to the n minus r times y to the r. But this part here, x plus y, we need this to say x plus. So we need to change this to x plus negative 2y to the ninth power. This step is critical. So now we could go ahead and substitute. With these problems here, it's important that we find an n value and an r value. The n value is determined by the exponent of your binomial. In this case, our exponent is 9. And r is determined by what term we're looking for. But remember, we're looking for the fourth term. So we're looking for the 1, 2, 3, 4. We're looking for this piece here. This is what we want to target. In particular, we want to target the coefficient, the number in front of the x to the 6, y to the third piece. So now, let's go ahead and put this into Newton's binomial theorem and write this in series form. So we're looking at the summation from r equals 0 to n, but we just found n equals 9, of n choose r. But remember, n equals 9. We're substituting 9 for n in this series. So we have 9 cr x to the n minus r, so x to the 9 minus r. And now this is where we need to be careful. We have an x here. Well, let's look at the binomial theorem first. We have an x here, so we're writing an x here. And we have a y here, so we're writing a y here. But in this example, we don't have a y. We have a negative 2y. So for the second piece, we're going to write negative 2y to the r. Keep in mind, we're just substituting y for y, so we're going to substitute negative 2y for negative 2y. And now we could evaluate this. But this is the trap in the problem. This is where we need to be careful because we're looking for the fourth term, but this series starts at r equals 0. So when students get this problem wrong, they'll just go ahead and say, oh, r equals 4. We're looking for the fourth. No, it starts at r equals 0. So you have r equals 0, r equals 1 r equals 2, r equals 3, and this is going to continue all the way to r equals 9. And we need the 1, 2, 3, fourth term, so we're evaluating this for r equals 3. Now remember, this series represents this entire expansion, but we're only concerned for the fourth term, so we're going to evaluate this for r equals 3. So now we need to substitute n equals 9 and r equals 3 into this piece here. So we're looking at, we have 9 CR, but R equals 3, times X to the 9 minus R, so 9 minus 3, times negative 2Y to 
to the r power, so negative 2y to the third power. And now all we need to do is simplify this. So we have 9c3, so the next line we'll say this equals 9c3 times x to the sixth times negative 2y to the third, which is really negative 2 to the third, y to the third. But what you'll notice, we have x to the sixth, y to the third. This is exactly what we need. This is the fourth term in this expansion. So now we just need to evaluate 9c3. We could use a calculator for this, but I'll just go ahead and use the definition really fast. 9c3, 9 combination 3, tells us to list three factors starting at 9, so 9 times 8 times 7, and divide by 3 factorial. So we're dividing by 3 times 2 times 1. And now 9 divided by 3 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we're looking at 3 times 4 times 7, which is 12 times 7, which is 84. So in the next line, we have 84 times x to the 6th, negative 2 to the 3rd power is negative 8. So we have negative 8 times y to the 3rd. And now for this last part, I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator. We're looking at 84 times negative 8. And that gives us a negative 672. So the final answer, or the final step, I should say, before we could find our answer, we have negative 672 x to the 6th, y to the 3rd. And our answer, we're looking for the coefficient. So the coefficient is negative 672. So just to summarize, this Newton's binomial theorem is just a really powerful tool for taking a complicated problem where we would have 512 pieces. It organizes it for us in this nice form and it tells us the exact values of the coefficients. So, okay, well this is going to conclude this problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.